Shall your brothers go to war and you sit your behind here? That's what Moses is saying. You got to correlate that with many of us today. You got some brothers in the war, in this fight, and other brothers just sitting back. I'm waiting for brothers to beg me to do something for this truth. We ain't begging you to do nothing. Always looking for somebody else to do We are not to be like that. What y'all came to do? Who you came to see? We shaking in the wind. The out here to slow down, tear down all the lies that you've been taught. Buddhism, Islam, Christianity. Christianity is not teaching you that you are the true Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Hey, to teach you that you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the children of Israel according to the Bible. Give me that. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. 20. Verse 20. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. We are what? Ambassadors for Christ. All right, we are out here. We are the ambassadors. We are the representatives of Jesus Christ. Read. As though God did beseech you by us, uh -huh. we pray you in Christ's stead. Uh -huh. Be ye reconciled to God. Be what? Reconciled to God. Because right now, all of you are separated from God, whether you believe it or not. You don't know this Bible and you don't know God according to the Bible. Read. For he has made him to be sin for us. Uh -huh. Who knew sin, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. That we might be made what? The righteousness of God in him. All right, the righteousness that they're talking about, give me Luke 1 and 6. All right, because we have to be righteous according to God, sister. All right, wearing pants and eating hot food on the Sabbath day is not righteous according to the Bible. Give me that. Luke chapter 1, verse 6. Uh -huh. And they were both righteous before God. And they were what? Both righteous before God. They were righteous before God. Read. Walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. Read that one again. And they were both righteous before God. They were righteous before God. Brother, do you know what it means to be righteous before God? What is it? What is righteousness according to the Bible? Huh? You don't know? You want to come learn, brother? You believe in Jesus Christ? Yeah. You do? Come here, come here, brother. Let me teach you something. Did you know that Jesus Christ was a black man according to the Bible? Did you know that? You didn't? Give me Revelation 1 14. Why don't you know that Jesus Christ was a black man? Why don't you know that? Not reading enough, like this. Huh? You didn't read enough, right? All right. I'm going to give you the true color and depiction of Jesus Christ. Revelations chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. All right, his head and his hairs were white like wool. Sister, if you see that sister right there in the red shirt, that's woolly hair. All right? That's the same texture that Christ had on his head. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. Right. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So, does this man have white woolly hair? And, and eyes as a flame of fire. All right, do you know you do you know this image? Who is this uh, image of? Supposed to be Jesus. That's supposed to be Jesus, right? But is that matching up with what the Bible says Jesus looked like? No, right? Why not? Huh? Right, read. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, brother? Brown. Brown, right? Read. Right. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they burn in a furnace. So what color is that? That's black, right? So why did they give us this image of a white man, blue eyes and blonde hair? Why did they give us this image? Huh? Do you know? Let me ask you this. What's your nationality? What's my nationality? What's your nationality? Jamaican. Jamaican. All right, where's that at in the Bible? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. Give me a uh, I think it's 4 and 16. Because I know he Alright, because according to the Bible, everybody that's on this earth right now started in the Bible. Alright? You believe that's true? So why can't you find yourself in this Bible underneath the name of Jamaica? 
Why can't you find it? Wasn't called that. When you wasn't called that, right? But do you know what you were called? I'm gonna teach you what you were called. Ecclesiastes chapter four, verse sixteen. Uh -huh. There is no end. There is what? There is no end. There is no end. Read of all the people. Of all the people. Meaning, there's no end of where you come from. But you don't know where you came from. You are from the tribe of Benjamin, so-called Jamaicans. All right. So, according to the Bible, you are an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. All right. Read. Even of all that have been before them, uh -huh. they also that come after shall not rejoice in him. All right. Now, give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 37. This is why you are called a so-called Jamaican today. All right. What is Jamaican? What does that mean? You don't know, right? You don't even know what, what your so-called name means. But in the Bible, he gave us all meaning. Our names have meaning. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. This is why you don't call yourself from the tribe of Benjamin. This is why you don't call yourself an Israelite. Read. And thou shalt become an astonishment. And thou shalt become an astonishment, an amazement. You so-called Jamaicans are looked at as amazement, a disgrace. They say all you can do is dance and drink and sing and drink weed. You are an astonishment to the nation. Read. A proverb and a byword. A proverb and a byword. That means you are called something other than your true nationality, brother. Being called a Jamaican, a uh, 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 West Indian, that's a byword according to the Bible. Read. Among all nations. Among what? All nations. Among all nations. Read. Whether the Lord shall lead thee. Whether the Lord shall lead thee. All right? So according to the Bible, your true nationality is that you're from the tribe of Benjamin, from the nation of Israel. Now. You might ask, why is this important? Do you know why it's important to know what tribe you come from and what's your nationality? Give me Matthew 15 and 24. Do you know who Christ came for? Everybody. Christ came for everybody? We're going to find out, brother. We're going to see who Christ came for. Because there's a specific reason why we got this list of 12 tribes. Because Christ only came for the nation of Israel. That's right. He only came for you and your ancestors. Read. Matthew chapter 15. Verse 24, uh -huh. but he answered and said. All right, so Christ answered. He answered his disciples, and he answered his Canaanite woman. Read. I am not sent. I am not sent. Read. But unto. But unto. So he said, I'm only sent. Read. But unto the lost sheep. The lost sheep. Of the house of, of. the house of what? Israel. Of what? Israel. To the Jamaicans? Israel. To the Haitians? Israel. That's why you have to know who you are. Because if you don't know you're an Israelite, you don't understand that Christ came for you. You get that? Give me Acts 5 and 31. All right? Not only did he come for you, but he died for you. And he gave you something with that. All right? Acts chapter 5 verse 31. Him hath God exalted uh -huh. with his right hand. With his right hand. The most high exalted Christ. Read. Him hath God exalted with his right hand uh -huh. to be a prince. To be a prince. Read. And a savior. And a Savior for to give repentance and to give repentance to Israel to who Israel to Israel brother he didn't come for everybody all right that is why it's important for you to know what's your nationality all right so when somebody asks you what's your nationality you say I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin that's right all right now you know who you are you know why it's important now how do you get this gift of repentance that Christ gave to you do you know how to do that? Give me Acts 3 and 19. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent! Repent! Do you know what it means to repent? What does that mean? Pray and ask for forgiveness. Huh? Pray and ask for forgiveness. Pray and ask for forgiveness of what? Sin. Of sin. What do you know what sin is? What yeah, sin? The generally negative things you do. Negative day. things you do? Alright, so a negative thing. Might be, I pee on the toilet and my wife gets mad at me. Is that a sin? No. Huh? No. no. So what is sin? I need to know. General evil things that you do. General evil things, all right? Give me, give me that. Give me sin. First John chapter 3, verse 4. This is sin, according to the Bible. Whosoever committed sin. Whosoever committed sin. Read. Transgressive also the law. Transgressive also the law read for sin for sin this is the definition of sin for sin read is the transgression is the transgression of the law of 
the law. So what's sin, brother? Breaking the law. Breaking the law. What law? The commandments. Huh? The commandments. The commandments. Give me Psalm 785. Yeah, the commandments. Do you know how many commandments he gave us? Okay. Ten. We gonna see. Psalms chapter 78, verse 5. First, we got to find out if what you said is true. Did he give us a law? Read. For he established a testimony in Jacob. Uh-huh. And appointed a law. Appointed a what? A law. He appointed a law. Read. In Israel. In what? Israel. That's why it's important for you to know who you are. Because right now, you're in the midst of sin and you don't know it. All right? Give me the law on the beard. Leviticus 21 and 5. Because right now, your beard's marred. Did you know that was, that was part of the Ten Commandments? You know that, did you? Because right now you're suffering sin upon your brother. I'm suffering sin on you if I don't correct you right now. All right? I have to show you the right way. We're not supposed to shave our beards. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. This is true repentance. Repentance is turning away from your sins and not doing it anymore. Like you said, first you got to ask for forgiveness. Then you stop doing whatever you were doing. Whatever sin you were doing. Whatever law you were breaking, you stop breaking. All right? You understand that? Read. They shall not make baldness upon their head. All right, you're not supposed to bald your head. You're not supposed to shave your head. You're not supposed to do the Tyrese. All right, read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall they what? Shave off the corner of their beard. All right, you see that? All of, all the brothers up here, we all got full beard. Why? Because we keep the laws of the Most High. All right, we fear God. All right, give me Psalm 111 and 10. Do you know how you fear God? Do what he asks you to do. You do what he asks you to do. And what does he ask? Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. What is what does he ask you so-called black Hispanic Native Americans to do, to do? What did he ask the nation of Israel to do? What does he require of us? Do you know? Alright, so you said all he told us to do is what he asked, right? But you said you don't know what he asked us to do. So why don't you know what to do? Have you ever went to church? Yep. Why haven't your pastor taught you what God wants you to do? Have you ever questioned that? All right, give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Hey, brother, this is what God instructs you to do. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? This is what God requires of you, brother. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. To fear the Lord thy God. Read. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his way, read. And to love him. And to love him. How do we love God? Let's see. And to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart, uh -huh. with all thy soul, uh -huh. to keep. To what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. To keep the commandments, brother. That's how you do what God wants you to do. All right, do you understand that? Did we read Acts 3 19? Yeah, we're going. I got all right, brother. So now you understand what you got to do, right? Yeah, I got you. All right, so you're going you gonna to stop shaving your beard, right? I'm in the military, man. I got to keep my job. Too. All right, no. Nah, I'll pray. If you got to keep your job, you got to keep your job. Guess what? When you get out of the military, grow your beard. Yeah. All right? Yeah. All right, so what are we out here teaching? We out here teaching that you so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans are the children of Israel. That's right. And you must wake up to your true nationality and follow God's law. Give me Malachi 4, verse 6. All right? Because we are out here to teach you the laws that your pastors, preachers, and so-called priests are not teaching you. Malachi chapter 4 verse 6. Uh -huh. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children uh -huh. to their fathers. We are out here to turn the heart of the children. You are the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. And we are here to turn your hearts back unto God's law. Read. Lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. All right, unless we don't hear this word and you all die when Christ comes back. 